click on custom domain names, then hit create. Enter a custom domain name of your choosing. I'm going to call it api.gokshadb.com. Then click on create a new ACM certificate. Consider this. You have an AWS Lambda function integrated with the Amazon API gateway. And you want to set up a custom domain name for your REST API. Can you do this with the API gateway? Let's find out. Let's start by navigating to the Lambda service, then click on create function and give it a name. Choose Python from the runtime dropdown, hit create, then scroll down to the code source section. Click on test, then hit invoke to execute your Lambda function and confirm that it's working as expected. Next, navigate to the API gateway service, click create API, then hit build in the REST API section. Give your API a name, hit create, then choose create method from the actions dropdown. Select get, leave the integration type to lambda function, then choose the lambda function that we just created. Hit save, then click on test to test your get method and confirm that you see hello from lambda in the response body. Now that our API is working as expected, let's deploy it by going to the actions dropdown, then click on deploy API. Here, I'm going to create a new deployment stage and call it QA, then hit deploy. Click on the invoke URL and confirm that you see hello from Lambda in the browser's output. Next, let's head back to the API gateway tab, click on custom domain names, then hit create. Enter a custom domain name of your choosing. I'm going to call it api.gokshadb.com, then click on create a new ACM certificate. Hit request, then choose public certificate, then click on next. Here, you have the option of adding additional domain names to your certificate. I'm going to leave mine to api.gokchadb.com. I'm going to select DNS validation for the validation method, then hit request. Next, click on view certificate, then click on create records in route 53. Hit create, navigate to the route 53 service, then go inside hosted zones. Go inside your domain and confirm that you see an additional CNAME record created for verification purposes. Head back to the ACM tab and confirm that the status of your certificate now says issued. Head back to the API gateway tab, then click on the refresh button and pick the certificate that we just created, then click on create. Next, navigate to the API mappings tab, click on configure, then hit add. Select your API and stage from the dropdown, then hit save. Head back to the configurations tab and take a note of your API gateway domain name because we'll be configuring an alias record in Route 53 next. Head to the Route 53 tab, click on create record, choose simple routing, then click on next. Hit define simple record, enter your custom domain name, then choose A or alias for record type. For endpoint, select alias to API gateway API, then select your region. Select your API gateway endpoint from the dropdown and confirm that it's exactly the same as we have in the other tab, then click on define. Hit create records, then click on view status. Give it a few minutes for the status to change to in sync then open a new browser tab. Enter your custom domain name and confirm that you see hello from Lambda in the browser's output. There you have it. But before you go, here's a question for you. Why did the Amazon API gateway start a ban? 